Hi, my name is Tom Last, and this is the homepage of philosophyoffreedom.com. The philosophy of freedom is a philosophy of life. It describes ethical individualism, which I believe is the answer to many of the personal, social, and political problems we face. I spent 30 years studying Rudolf Steiner's philosophy of freedom and created this website to help others understand the book. It is filled with a wealth of reference material, study help, and educational videos. I organize the website content into a study guide with links to everything. It is called the Philosophy of Freedom Study Guide. This is a link to the study guide where page descriptions have been added. The guide begins with Rudolf Steiner's Creed. It was written in 1888 when he was 27 years old and sets down his core principles and beliefs. The Philosophy of Freedom is published six years later and expresses Steiner's belief that the idea is the spirit. The next page asks, who was Rudolf Steiner? He was a respected scholar, anarchist, and advocate of the scientific worldview. His most important work is the philosophy of freedom. His life was devoted to finding ways to interest people in freedom, individualism, thinking, and ethics. This all changed when the philosophy of freedom was banned, and he was accused of associating with terrorists. This page has videos that show the significant difference between Steiner's scholar period and his occult period. This website is focused on Rudolf Steiner's scholar period because it is a valuable resource that is filled with the spirit of the philosophy of freedom. In 1898, Rudolf Steiner publicly declared himself an individualist anarchist. When you understand what individualist anarchism is, you can see why some have called the philosophy of freedom the anarchist Bible. The humanist page compares the views in the philosophy of freedom with those of established humanism. It includes over 100 quotes in the philosophy of freedom that express a humanist point of view. In 1897, Rudolf Steiner became an owner, chief editor, and essay contributor to the literary journal Magazine for Literature. He acquired the magazine in hopes of persuading others to accept the ideas in the philosophy of freedom. The publisher page includes a link to all his published articles, including a few that have been translated to English. Before the publication of the philosophy of freedom, Steiner included a plan for the book in Truth and Science, where he briefly describes a free deed. The reviews page has some interesting 1895 book reviews. Each of us will make the journey to free thinking and action in our own way. The philosophy of freedom serves as a map of the territory we will pass through on the way to freedom. The short videos on this page show how the path can be described in many different ways. The book introduction page has introductions by 15 different people. The summary page has several chapter summaries. The principles page has a list of the principles found in each chapter and can be used to locate ideas in the book. After reading Rudolf Steiner's Human and Cosmic Thought, I suspected that the thought structure described in these lectures was used in the writing of the philosophy of freedom. The thought structure features 12 world views because broad-mindedness is necessary to reach the truth of the world. I discovered that each chapter in the philosophy of freedom begins with an introduction that is followed by 12 points of view. I place topic headings in the text to mark the shifts from one viewpoint to another. The reader may become confused if the shifting points of view are not noticed. These topic headings are found on the website in the online editions of the book. 
It was many years before I realized that a chapter had been removed from the philosophy of freedom. This is the story of what I had to do to find it. The philosophy of freedom was written with the mood and intention of describing the free-spirited, radical individualist. This changed in 1918 when the book was edited and revised in an attempt to make a connection between the philosophy of freedom and Steiner's later occult science. Now, there were two versions of the philosophy of freedom, the original written in 1894 and the 1918 revised edition. The original philosophy of freedom went out of print and was forgotten. After doing some research, I discovered that an English edition of the original 1894 philosophy of freedom was published in 1916. The translator was Hornell, but it was out of print and no longer available, so I republished it. A free copy is available on the website, and it is sold on Amazon priced at cost. This link takes you to the 1916 Hornell translation with topic headings added. The Hornell is the only English translation sanctioned by Rudolf Steiner himself. A free downloadable textbook edition of the Philosophy of Freedom is also available with diagrams and pictures. The existing translations of the Philosophy of Freedom are difficult to read because they are literal translations. This is a barrier to study. They closely follow the form of the German language with long sentences and paragraphs and German word order. These translations are too literal, making the text unreadable. For this reason, I decided to edit the Hornell English translation to make it more readable. It is a work in progress and only available online. This is a link to nine English translations on the translation page. It is helpful to refer to other translations if you are having difficulty. The philosophy of freedom cannot be studied like a normal book. As you read, you will be asking yourself, what does this mean? Your thinking is disciplined by following the special organization of the thoughts and struggling for the meaning. Proper study will result in the joy of intuitive insights that reveal meaning. Proper study also develops the faculty of intellectual intuition that is required for ethical individualism. Project-based study is about making the ideas in the book your own by expressing them in a project. The ideas can be expressed in art, videos, making diagrams, or even cartooning. You can write chapter summaries or apply the principles in social or political commentary. Let me know about your project and I will post it on the website. Deep study is usually done in solitude, but finding a study partner or a study group can be awakening. This page describes a fun study group process I created that everyone loved. Group conversation leads to fresh insights, but it requires discipline. This page has links to articles on group contemplation. In 1923, Steiner recommended the formation of free communities. It would be for people who were not satisfied with living a familiar traditional life, but were concerned with the great dangers facing society. After over a century since its publication, the philosophy of freedom is still unknown. We need to get the word out. The Ask Rudolf Steiner video series poses a question about life and then looks to see what the philosophy of freedom says. This self-study course uses the scientific method of comparative research. It is a way of learning that compares two experiences discussed in the philosophy of freedom. It compares the experience of outer truth that we observe in the external world with the experience of inner truth that appears within. This video series discusses the philosophy of freedom in light of the 12 worldview thought structure that underlies the book. Each chapter presents 12 views of the chapter topic. 
the 12 world views are represented by characters. Brian Gray was a teacher at Rudolf Steiner College for many years. You can watch 17 Brian Gray lectures about the philosophy of freedom on this page. You will find links to three comic books about the philosophy of freedom on the comic book page. Have you ever wondered what philosophy of freedom jeopardy would be like? Watch it here. Rudolf Steiner called the observation of thought the most important observation we can make. By practicing the exercises on this page, you will train yourself in the observation of thought. Rudolf Steiner presents to the world a new human ideal, the ethical individualist. The ethical individualist stands at the highest point of human evolution as one who acts according to one's own highest ethical ideals. He is reality-based and acts out of knowledge as a free thinker. He freely selects the ethical principle to apply to each life situation without being concerned with what others would do. The leading principle of the ethical individualist, above all others, is to express his moral content in action. To bring change, the ethical individualist wears four hats. That of a scientist, a philosopher, an artist, and a technician. A problem today is that many people lack the motivation to take ethical action. The philosophy of freedom is an answer to apathy by guiding the individual to their inner truth that will empower ethical action. Inner truth brings the conviction to take a stand where others may lack the courage. Rudolf Steiner stated the purpose of the philosophy of freedom is to lay the foundations of ethical individualism and of a social and political life. Our political views are rooted in our values. The political value of freedom has united many from the left and the right. Naturally, the political compass of one who values freedom will lean toward the libertarian axis that supports individual freedom. At the core of ethical individualism and building a free society is freedom of thought and expression. Today, alternative views, or what some consider offensive speech, is being restricted or completely censored. This is an attack on the broad-mindedness necessary to reach truth. Should we be more concerned about cognitive rights? There are people who use mind control, brainwashing, or marketing to control our thoughts. At what point is our human right of free thinking violated? This page has a video viewer to watch Philosophy of Freedom videos. This link takes you to the YouTube channel. By subscribing, you will know when new videos come out. The ideas in the Philosophy of Freedom are found in four books. There are three books that lead up to and expand on some of the ideas briefly outlined in the Philosophy of Freedom. You can get free downloads of these basic books at the download page. This page inserts quotes from three basic books into the text of the Philosophy of Freedom to expand on the ideas. A lexicon of Philosophy of Freedom terms has been started and a list of articles that relate to the book is located here. If you have any questions about the website or the philosophy of freedom or want to get involved, contact me at this contact link.